Hi guys and welcome back to another All Heart video. So today's video has been highly requested. I've been getting emails within the last couple weeks from parents asking me what I got my kids for Christmas this year. So there are two main items that are still not here. I was really hoping that it would be here by now, which is why there was a bit of a delay in putting this video up. I'm sure that some of you are probably experiencing some shipping delays. It's just the way things are. So we're just trying to be patient and really crossing our fingers that those items get here before Christmas. But I do have pretty much everything else here. So I'm super excited. I can't even believe that I'm already making one of these videos and Christmas is basically less than two weeks away. So sit back, enjoy. If you guys have any questions on the items, leave them in the comments below. And remember that if you do like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. So I don't even know where to start because I've laid everything out in front of me and I just love every single piece that we've gotten for our kiddos. I know they're gonna be so su uh, surprised this year, but let's just go ahead and start with the biggest. So as you can see behind me, I have my children's little play kitchen. Now this is something that I got for my son when he turned one and I purchased it secondhand. But and with you know all of these years of constantly playing with it and then our move across the country, the back of it has broken, the top is very, very loose. And so I kind of contemplated, well, you know, we could purchase a whole new kitchen set, but because of our limited space, I didn't want something else that would most likely be bigger than that, taking up more room in this space. So check this out, you guys. I know that um, if you've been following my channel for a while, you do know that we do incorporate some Waldorf inspired toys and curriculum into our current Montessori curriculum. We have two Waldorf play stands. And since this is basically the next big piece of furniture that we have in this room, I wanted to utilize it. So I went on the hunt and I was able to find these beautiful pieces. So this set, as you can see here, I can remove and it is so lightweight that my children are going to be able to move this around when they don't want to use it. But it comes with the sink, it comes with like a little soap dispenser, it comes with a little chopping a wooden board and these are the two burners with the knobs so you could turn them on and off but i absolutely fell in love with this i thought this would work out perfectly for us because when they want to use the play stands for something else then they could just remove this completely and we could put it away now, the awesome thing about this is that this was actually sold with two other pieces. So I bought some like trays that are going to go under it to lift it up a little bit, but they're still not here. But check this out. So over here is their washing machine. So it could be a washer or dryer, versatile. And here are the little knobs that they can use to turn. And then it also came with the oven. So right here, they would just turn the knob and it would open up and they could put things in the oven, close it up and secure the latch. They don't even have to secure the latch. I just think it's cute. <laughs> but uh, this whole set came together and I just think it's, it's beautiful. It's simple. It's clean, it matches the aesthetic of our home, and it just fit perfectly on our stands. So with that set, they also had this other set on their site, and I thought it would be perfect for them to be able to place all of their vegetables and fruits, and if they wanted to turn it into a little marketplace, then they could. So again, versatility, these are items that they can put away if they just want to use their play stands for something else. 
And so let me show you that set right now. So this is the second Waldorf place stand that we have. So oh, these are the second items that I ordered and those came included. So it has their little abacus to keep track of all of their purchases. It even comes with this scale when they're weighing their fruits and vegetables. And then, so this is one tray and I love that it has the separation so that they can separate their fruit and vegetables however they want. And then it's got this one that has wheels, see? So that they can wheel things in and out very, very easily. So I threw in some of the vegetables that they have now just so that you can get an idea of what it looks like with those beautiful pops of colors. I mean, that just makes the stand, you know, the little market stands just really, really pop. I am so in love with it. I can't wait for them to come up here for Christmas. I know they're gonna be so excited. I had ordered some new fruits and vegetables that we don't currently have. So I'll go ahead and insert a picture of the ones that are supposed to come in. They are in transit, so I'm just hoping they'll be here soon. But that is the only item from this entire shipment that was missing. Um, but other than that, I mean, this is the most important pieces, so I'm glad that these are at least here. So let's move on to the very next item. So I know that you guys know my love for Holtz Tiger toys. This year, I actually picked up some Ostheimer toys for my children. Now they do have a few characters that are Ostheimer, but I have never purchased anything bigger than that. So I was so happy to find these and I found them secondhand, which was just ideal because Ostheimer is so much more expensive than Holtz Tiger, even though I feel like the quality is the same. So the princesses so. were not included, but I wanted to add it just for aesthetic purposes so that you can just see how my daughter is going to be able to utilize it. But what I actually purchased was this tower. How gorgeous is this, guys? My daughter is just going to be over the moon. So it came with the little stairs that you can just remove like that. And then it came with this larger piece and you can see the little pegs inside which actually holds a separate base so that I can place this on top. But you could place characters in here. You could place characters at the very top and you can place characters obviously at the very bottom. So if I wanna place our Ostheimer Snow White in there, I can definitely do so. So this is the second set that unfortunately got shipped out to somebody else, but um, I have been assured that it will be shipped out uh, within the next day or two. So crossing my fingers that that does actually happen, but this is also coming in. And this is going to be perfect for um, a lot of my son's toys, especially his Holtz Tiger castle set that he got last year. Okay, so moving on. You guys also know that my family loves their My Lai toys. And if you want to know more about what My Lai toys are and what they offer, their collections, I will leave down below. I have a very, very thorough video of pretty much everything that that company covers, as well as a separate video on our collection. Now, since that video, our collection has grown. So I do have to do an updated video um, on that and eventually I will get to that, I promise, because my Lie is just such a wonderful company. I absolutely love all of their toys. And when I tell you that my daughter plays with this every day, she really does. And anytime that we travel anywhere, these are the items that she packs right away. So let me go ahead and show you the pieces that we picked up for her and my son to play with this Christmas. I love the packaging. They come in these little match boxes. And then as we open it up, 
there is our little Christmas mouse. So let me go ahead and pull her out. So she comes with everything that you would need for her little bed. So she's got a little pillow, a little Christmas mattress and you know, Christmas inspired colors with her little blankie. And this is her. Brother Christmas Mouse. So pretty much the same setup, different colored bedding, but this is Christmas Mouse. Look at his little suspenders. Oh my gosh, I just died. So, so cute. I'm so excited I was able to find these. So we are not done. The My Lai Christmas adventure continues. Let me show you what else we got. So these are all new items to the My Lai website this year. We ended up getting the Christmas sleigh, the bread box with the cutting board and bread and knife, and a little toaster. This is also new to their Christmas collection this year. It is the Christmas garland, and we also ended up getting the new Christmas tree. I also ended up picking up some of these furniture pieces that are going to go in the gingerbread house as well as another larger piece of furniture that I will show you in a minute. And I ended up getting this small fridge with some play food as well. So as you can see, the play food is just so adorable. It's got the wheel of cheese, sausage, eggs and milk and it's actually made of very durable like materials like my daughter has dropped one before and i mean it's definitely made for kids and we are still not done i have one more big my light item to show you i don't think you're ready for this one guys so this is a new one it just came out this year i am so excited to show you that's right, it is a tower, and this goes with their Royal Mice collection. So it's got basically four different levels. It does come with this built-in kitchen, and I purchased this separately because it fits perfectly in there. And so now they have their little fridge, but look at how beautiful this is. So my daughter has the entire collection of royal mice, but now they're going to have somewhere to live. It's got the little tower so that Princess Mouse can look out. And it's even got room up here like a little patio set. So a lot of the little furniture that I showed you earlier is going to go in here. Okay, now we're done with the My Light toys, but aren't those sets just gorgeous? I can't wait for my daughter and my son to open them. They just create so many hours of inspiration and creativity when they are playing with these open-ended toys. Really wanted to make sure that this year we picked out toys that could be added to other collections. I didn't want to bring in, you know, bigger pieces or separate pieces that would take up a lot of room. So these are all pieces that they can incorporate into other things that they already have. So that's definitely something that I suggest if you have a limited space, instead of adding more furniture pieces or more toys that you can't really, that you don't have a place for, then I would suggest getting smaller things that can add to collections they already have. And that way 
it kind of assures you that it, that it is going to have a space to go. So let's move on to the very next item. So my son received a Yodo player um, for his birthday last year. And it is something that he absolutely loves. He is a very big reader and he loves just being able to listen to stories when he's not actually actively reading something. Uh, the issue that we were having is that my daughter loves to sing and she loves listening to music. So there was a little bit of a conflict there, you know, when both of them wanted to utilize that at the same time. So this year, Yodo came out with a Yodo Mini, which is absolutely perfect because not only is it, you know, less in price, but it's so much easier for my daughter to be able to take it places because it's more portable. So let me show you that. So this is the Yodo Mini. And I also got the uh, the little jacket, protective jacket that goes over it to make sure that it does, you know, it stays nice and clean. If she actually drops it, then there is a little bit of resistance there so that, you know, it stays nice and safe. So I also ended up picking up some wooden pieces from an Etsy store that I talked about during my fall inspired scape items. So as you can see in the back, I've got like a little fairy door. I got some more of these wooden Play-Doh stampers. I know that my daughter is just going to love this little witch one and especially this little unicorn one as well. These make beautiful impressions in Play-Doh and I especially love this set here. I think my son is just really gonna get a kick out of all of the different footprints from all of these different animals. I also picked up this little moon tray for my daughter uh, just because I know that she likes leaving little bracelets and trinkets and I wanted to give her a place for it. And this one you can use with either Play-Doh or Kinetic Sand. And then I also picked up this little holder for all of their Stockmar wax uh, crayons as well. So this next set I was able to find on Amazon and I thought the set was going to be perfect because I could incorporate it into different aspects of their curriculum, such as, you know, science and art and some activities that we're able to do outdoors. So it comes with yeah. three different like color mixing panels that are just super easy to hold. They're incredibly smooth. I mean, if you are outdoors with your kids, everything just looks yellow it's got that beautiful spectrum of yellow and what's nice about these besides the fact that it they're super lightweight very easy to hold is that if you guys are working on art projects and learning about being able to mix colors they are able to mix into a brand new color so now when they look through it everything has a beautiful shade of orange the same thing goes when you mix in the blue. Now everything looks like it's got that pretty shade of green. So it comes with six different sets. So the three colored ones that I just showed you. Also a magnifying one. And these are fun. So it comes with one regular mirror. And then one kind of fun mirror. Uh, I would say if you guys do any filming and you have like that fisheye lens, well, it gives kind of that rounded perspective out um, uh, in your surroundings. So it's actually really quite neat. So I'm really pleasantly pleased with these. These actually just arrived today. So it's kind of like an unboxing. But um, these are really, really nice. I'm very, very happy with these. Oh, and in the back, it's got like, it's like a fun upside down mirror. But um, yeah, so this set is really, really nice. So it comes with those six. Again, super, super easy to hold. 
um, incredibly versatile, something that I can put either in a basket or a small bin in their science section so that they can grab it whenever they want. I am very, very happy with this. So again, the brand is called Ticket. So since that last gift kind of falls in line with some art ideas that I'm going to be utilizing those sets for, uh, I figured this is a good time to show you some of the art supplies that I decided to give my children this year. There are a few items that I still haven't received and that's mostly because I ordered them a little bit later than I should, but they are coming. So I'll go ahead and insert pictures of those right now. But I wanted something that they would be able to use to store some of their more specialized materials like uh, some of their watercolor uh, colored pencils. I don't want them mixing those in with their regular colored pencils or maybe some specialty markers or paints and then some of their other art supplies. So I was able to find this one and I'll go ahead and leave the link down below. And I was able to find it on sale, which was absolutely awesome but it is a really nice wooden storage piece and I'm very excited to receive that because it's gonna look just really, really good in our art display. The second item that I ordered from the same company are these two plastic um, painting trays. It's just gonna make it a lot easier to separate the different colored paints when my children are using it and they can also store their little paintbrushes as they're switching paintbrushes to paint. So I really do wanna focus on a lot more art this year. And the next item actually hasn't come in yet, but I found it on Amazon. So my children sometimes just love to paint, in, paint and draw in random places. And I find that them carrying their little uh, drawing trays can be a little bit cumbersome. So I was able to find these on Amazon and they have like magnetic clasps so that they can place their paper on there. The magnets hold the paper down and it actually, you can hold quite a bit of paper on there and it's very, very portable. So I got my children one of those, um, one for each of them. So that's going to be something that they can take with them if we are on the road, if they are outside, downstairs, upstairs. It's just very, very portable. So the next thing that I basically repurchase every single year is the scratch paint paper. Um, I have pretty much raved about this because this is such a good way for your children to be able to learn uh, uh, how much pressure to press on their pencils when they are writing. Uh, so it's very, very good for them to be able to use something like this and manipulate, you know, something like this in order to gain some strength in those in their fingers. Not to mention the fact that it paints some really beautiful colors and my children just love them. And I like uh, that I got this version instead of like the book ones because then they could just take a couple um, with them if they're in the car or if we're going somewhere and, as opposed to taking a big book. So I already mentioned this for their Starkmar, uh, Starkmar crayons. And then I also got some more of their inset paper. They like to utilize this in different ways, not just for their metal insets. So I'm always restocking these. And then the last thing is the Crayola watercolor pencils. So this is going to be really fun for them to try out. So these are the art supplies they're getting. So the next item and the very last item i believe is from a brand called playmobil now playmobil is a german company and they are headquartered in germany and they have so many different accessories you know vehicles buildings people and that's one of the things that i love about them i, I also picked up this set here i didn't want to pull it out of the bag and build it but it is going to be like a horse stall with all of the supplies that my daughter would need to take care of her horse so i will insert a picture so that you see what it looks like when it is all built up but if you know my daughter, you know that she absolutely loves horses and anything that has to do with animals. So I was happy that I was able to find some of these sets specifically for her. So this is the final set, you guys. 
I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have questions on any of the materials that I showed you today, please make sure to leave them down below if you have questions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and remember to ring that notification bell so that you are notified of when I next post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you back here very, very soon.